I've got a bad leg now, and I actually have been frustrated the past few days because the weather's been so nice and people are out on their bikes and I can't get on my bike. But my bicycle story starts with, and it wasn't my first bike, I'm sure, because I'm sure we all had those little bikes and stuff, but this is the first bike I remember. And it was a Schwinn five speed, but the five speed was like a gear shift. Now, I think it was actually a woman's bike because it was given to us, given to me, by the doctor that lived in our neighborhood, and he only had daughters. And it was a hand-me-down bike. So it had a butt, it was orange, with a banana seat. Glitter banana seat. And it had, you didn't shift, and it, the shift was like, it was like this big knob, like mounted there, and it, it, it was like a gear shift, you had to move between them. And I just thought this was the most amazing thing, and I would ride around, it was like bright orange orange, it was like orange orange. So I get this first bike from Dr. Templeton, and this will come up in a minute, because the, the next bike story is, so I'm riding this around the neighborhood, and I lived in a neighborhood that we didn't get salt put on the road, we got cinders, which is when they just come put this lobby, you know, this gravel on your road when it, in, the, in the winter so that you got traction. So, you know, when spring comes then, all the cinders are still there and they just pile up along, you know, the side of the road. So I'm riding my bike and I go to turn and the bike scoots out from under me because I'm on all these cinders and I think I have a broken arm, but we aren't sure. So, Dr. Templeton lives in the neighborhood, <laughs> so we stop by Dr. Templeton's house, and we say, hey, do you think Chad has a broken arm? And he goes, well, not, you know, it doesn't seem like he has a broken arm. He says, however, my daughter had a broken leg for two weeks that I didn't think was broken until she was still not doing well. So I wouldn't necessarily go by me if I had a broken arm. But a couple days later, we're like, well, let's just go ahead and get this x-ray, and it was broken. <laughs> and it was on that bike. <laughs> Like those from like I mean we rode around the neighborhood. I lived by a lake. We rode around the neighborhood all the time and did stuff. But I don't remember a lot except my orange Schwinn with the five speed and uh, then breaking my arm. And I had to be at a wedding even. And I got the cast off right before it was all. But fast forward because I was a chunky boy. I mean I'm still chunky now. But I was like at one point 300 pounds. So you know I didn't really bike. 300 pound people don't really bike. But in college I lost all this weight. So then I got. Because I was like, I'm on a bike, I live near campus, so I was like, I'll ride a bike. And I went and got a decent bike. I was like, I'm not just going to go to Walmart and buy a Huffy. Not that those are bad, but, you know. I went to the Schwinn shop and I got the cheapest Schwinn they made. Because I get still a Schwinn, but it was the cheapest one they made. So I have this bike and I bike and I move here to Indy. This is just one of those other kind of fun random stories. So I move on the canal to Canal Square Apartments and they had a bike route. And we literally, our apartment was here, and then there was the hallway to go outside, and in the hallway was the bike route. So you walked by it every morning. It was one of those things you never paid attention to. You know, I take my bike out, I put it in, and I had a, some kind of chain, some kind of cheap little chain to chain it to the bike rack, but there's a thousand bikes in there. And one morning, I'm going out to work, and I get to the outside door, and I stop, because I'm like, something's different, something's weird. And I go back and I look in the bike room and it's empty. Oh. Somebody had like stolen all the bikes oh. that night. Oh. You know, again, it was one of those things. I had never like looked every morning. It wasn't like I was consciously, oh, my bike in there? Good. You know, it was just like you walk by, but then the doors open. And this morning I was just like, something peripherally was different. And all the bikes were stolen. Oh, yeah. But fortunately, I, I used to run the Indianapolis Chamber Orchestra and one of my board members he and his wife, his wife's parents were bikers. So they rode bikes all the time. This is how he explains it to me. And so he and his wife went and got bikes at Bicycle Garage at Indianapolis or whatever. But he's telling me the story then, like a week after my bike gets stolen, about how, how we went to go on this bike ride. They had bought the bikes, which I own now, but you know, it has shock absorbers in the front and a shock absorber on the seats <laughs> and the big tires, and it's lovely for riding around. The parents own bikes that have the tires that are like the size of your pinky, and they went on a road ride with them, and they were dying. Because you can't ride with somebody that goes on the little bikes that have the tires like your pinky and, you know, are all on the road. When you have a big bike that has the tires about this big, and your shock absorbers and stuff, you're dying. So he's like, we have to go buy new bikes because we bought the wrong bikes. And I'm like, hey. So for like $200, I got this giant 
$800 bike that they had bought originally to replace my Schwinn. So those are my fun bike stories. And then it all, the funniest thing that's happened recently was my sister and I decided that we're going to get my mom and stepdad bikes for Christmas because they've talked about they want bikes. And I'm from Seymour, Indiana, small town. And my mom lived, my mom worked, my mom and dad both worked, stepdad both worked a mile, maybe a mile and a half from where they live, but they drive every day, but we're like, we're gonna get in shape, so we would like bikes. So we, actually from Walmart, we get these Huffy, these little like cruiser things they make, the little retro looking bikes with the fenders and everything, but two nice bikes. And we get them for them for Christmas, and we joke about you know when they're actually gonna use it. So the first time my mom rides it to work, she sends my sister and I a picture, I have my text message, of her, but she didn't have, she had already bought the basket for the front, she had <laughs> bought several different accessories, a bell, she had bought this, but she didn't think to buy like a chain or anything to lock it up, so she zip tied it to the bike rack <laughs> at the office that she works at in Seymour, and sends a picture to my sister and I. And only in Seymour could you zip tie a bike to a bike rack, and it still be there eight hours later when you go to get it, but hey, it worked, it kept somebody carrying off, so. Those are my like random fun little bike stories, so thank you.